Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak again. I'm going to show you and do a review on a Turbo 200 uh, CO2 diffuser, or it's more of a reactor. And this Turbo 200, uh, they make three models, a 2, 4, and 6. And the videos that they show on it, the first question that's asked is, how noisy is it? And the problem with these Turbo 2, 4, and 6 from all the reviews is they're extremely noisy. They work very well, but they're so ungodly noisy. You can't use them in the bedroom. You can't use them in the office. You can't use them in your family room. You just They're just too noisy. This one that you're looking at, the 200, is very small. It's very compact. It works very well, but it's just too noisy. So then I looked at it, took it apart, saw what pieces it's how it's made and I thought this can be made better and it can be made cheaper because this costs forty five dollars and I think the six hundred costs anywhere between fifty four to eighty dollars I've seen it on the internet but like I said before this particular one is extremely noisy no matter if I use three bubbles twelve bubbles or whatever so when I took it apart as you see it's just a very simple little device it comes apart very easy and this is something that anyone can make for about eleven dollars and ninety nine cents and I went to my local Myers and I picked up a in the tank filter called a Cascade 300 and this is made by Penplex and it cost uh, a whopping eleven dollars and ninety nine cents and this is what we're going to use. Inside the box comes uh, a few parts and it comes with everything you need. You're not going to have to buy anything else. The only thing you're going to need is uh, air stone and airline. And I'll explain that to you. But otherwise the box comes with everything you're going to need to convert this into a reactor. And one thing you're not going to need, you're not going to use the carbon filter that's in there or the sponge. Those are two things you're not going to need, so you can discard those two items. But the where the impeller is, the impeller is a six-blade impeller. Uh, you are going to have to drill a hole where the impeller is. And if you take the whole thing apart and look at it, which we are looking at here, and it's got the carbon container taken out and as you can see the bottom part there's a strainer that is where the air stone because you're going to need an air stone I'll show you what kind but the first thing you're going to do is they comes with a tube and a cap on it the caps going to be taken off and actually block up the motor exit normally the that is the where the red arrow shows that is the outtake and you're going to block that up with that top cap just like this picture shows once that's blocked up uh, water now when it pumps through will pump internally instead of externally because basically all it is is a power head with a it's just a little filter made for a 10 gallon tank so once you have that blocked up you will have to then here's a close up of it you see so now it's all blocked up water cannot be expelled out of that hole anymore and what we're going to do with that is we're going to get some step drills uh, you can buy step drills at Harbor Freight cost five bucks to fifteen bucks but it's best to drill plastic with step drills instead of a normal drill because a normal drill sometimes will crack plastic or it will catch on to the plastic and it will pull through the plastic a step drill is not designed to do that so when you go to drill plastic it makes a real nice hole excellent hole and here is that bottom plate and you're going to drill 11 30 seconds drill into that plate now that will the bottom hole will be for the intake and the top hole is going to be for the exit but it's going to now squirt the water back into the filter okay 
Another thing you're going to need is you're going to need these small little air stones here. These are Lee air stones. You buy them at any pet store. It costs about five bucks for about six or seven of them with the cap. And you're going to need airline tubing. And this is going to turn the seal to even in the fine bubbles. So it's going to bubble inside the diffuser that you are making. It's really more of a reactor. And what you're going to have to do now is drill some holes in the side of the top part of the filter. And as you see here, you drill first you drill a quarter inch hole. This quarter inch hole is for your airline to go in. This is where your airline tubing is going to wind up going in here. Then you're going to turn it over, that top part, and you're going to drill three 532nd holes on the other side. That's why you need these step drills so you don't wind up cracking this thing. And really it drills pretty easy. And the next step you're going to do after you have all your holes drilled is connect the piece back up and you're going to send your airline tubing in with your uh, air stone. And as you see there's your exit hole. So there's your impeller with the six blade. It will suck in the water and the CO2 and then it will expel it back into the filter itself. And when you're all done it should look like this except it won't have the sponge in it. You're going to use it without the sponge. So what it's going to do is suck in the aquarium water from the bottom. It's going to the CO2 is going to be in there. It's going to hit the impeller and it's going to frappe the CO2 and mix it and impregnate your aquarium water with the CO2 just as, as I'm showing here in my aquarium. And see it, it does expel some bubbles but they just are micro bubbles. These are 0.5 to 1 millimeter in size. These bubbles are very very tiny and it does an excellent job and it's very quiet and this is probably the best reactor I have actually seen for this price I mean better than some of the hundred and fifty dollar reactors I have tried out I've tried out about 15 different reactors and this believe it or not works the best whether you pump in three bubbles or I'm pumping in about 10 to 11 bubbles per second of CO2 but it really you almost have to look at it to, to think if it's even on. The thing about it is you don't need any power heads anymore you don't need any ceramic air stones that get clogged up I mean this thing costs $11.99 that's almost the price of one ceramic air stone and what it does is the CO2 goes up it sucks it up it spits it back out and it keeps sucking it up and spitting it back out and it actually impregnates the water far, far superior than anything I have used. You get a power head and you run a CO2 through the power head, it only hits it once. I've even used uh, the same impellers, what they call needle valve impellers, and they don't do as well as this. This thing really works good. It's small, you can place it in your tank, anywhere in your tank. I have mine, as you can see, sitting in the sump. and for the price, it's the best CO2 reactor that uh, I've ever used. And like I said, I've even used $150 reactors. This works far, far better than a $150 reactor that I use. Now, of course, it's the I've used lab reactors, which cost thousands of dollars. So let's forget about that. This is for the hobbyists. But if you want to make one of these, and you don't want to spend a lot of money and just with a few drilled holes you can't really go wrong. It works excellent. It's quiet. You can put it in your tank. You can put it in your sump and for the price it can't beat it. Don't even waste your time buying the Turbo 200, 400, or 600. It, it, they're not worth it. But making your own is worth it. And I'll be honest with you, it's the best CO2 reactor I have ever used, and I've used about 15 different kinds. 
So until next time, this is Dr. Kevin Oick. Happy ponding and uh, happy aquariums.